affected direction, and which has to do with the tension for structural fields. So I think we recall what I said about that. So I just say in general. So if I have say that scheme with an embedding. Uh, to smooth space. Then I have the ideal sheet. And uh, then there is a standard exact sequence that is the Hartman or whatever, so I and I square. Let's go differential. Why to stick to the maps to the And the topic, and the, you could say that for the obstruction space, so which is to prevent tangent vectors from leading to curves lying inside. And so um, the perfect obstruction theory is now the following. So if the uh, compact of vector bundles, very short compact of two vector bundles. Um, such that we have a home with a homomorphism of complexes to this thing. So this is the map itself to the center. So just uh, let's say t minus one. On homology, which is on one side, nice work is on the other side. So, I think, see what I could call each zero of phi is the map from the co kernel of E. So, the co kernel of E, but phi here uh, is a nice map. And each one. So as I said, the, the dual of the kernel of the fiberwise would be the obstruction space, uh, or the canonical obstruction space, the dual of the co-kernel here is the tension space of that. And so that means the map would be an isomorphism on tension spaces. And so, this is subjective, injective, or the, the, the obstructions map injectively into the cage of the dual of this. Okay, so this is the So, and the, the virtual dimension of that would then be just equal to the rank. Theory task that the that means the rank of E zero minus the rank of E minus one. And then if one has such a so that is compact with perfect obstruction.
that is a virtual parameter. It's a in the overall G corresponding to the virtual dimension. And one can define invariance by integrating the case. Okay, now let's look how this looks for the model of the sheet. So, <clears throat> for simplicity, I, I would just say two words not much. So, for simplicity, we assume that you have a sheet. S times the model of space. Um, anyway, and we have the projection pi m. So maybe one can first say, so what's the tangent space? M at the point corresponding to the sheet E. Um, and you know what one finds is that this will be x one e sheet phase three. So I can say a few words about it. Not too much. Um, so what's the tangent space? So, so the, the moduli space of the at the point. This would be the families over spec the epsilon mod the epsilon squared, uh, which specialize at the closed points to E. So uh, it's a vector bundle, say G over uh, spec of the epsilon mod epsilon specialized. At the close point is given by an extension of E plus So you have a, so to speak, you have an E over epsilon times K, you have an So this shows that the tangent space in some sense should be x1 e, e but here we have the zero, so the trace three in the mechanism. And uh, this comes from the fact that from the modernized space of sheaves to the car variety, you have the, the trace map, and so you, you have the, the map which uh, maps uh, the sheaf to its determinant, and uh, uh, the, the tension to that, uh, tension map to that is the trace map for these endomorphisms. And so the kernels means you are looking at some sense at the fiber over the car variety, over the, over the, where you fix the first turn class as a line bundle. Now, now in our particular case, uh, now we have assumed that Q of S is zero. So we have, in some sense, in this way, indirectly fixed the determinant. Um, and uh, the point is that, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, so one has to be a bit careful, but uh, what one gets at the tension space is this, the trace two points. And then, you know, a bit more work will show that the obstruction space will be the x2, 
And in some sense, it's also what always happens. You know, the, you have the tangent space is a certain homology group, and the obstruction space is one one step up. The obstruction. So trace fee, I mean, what trace fee means for homomorphism, say a vector bundle is clear, what precisely it means, I mean, you can extend it to sheaves and then it's a derived function of that, uh, you know, that to do for X groups. And you can globalize this. Uh, we have that uh, the dual of the obstruction theory, because the obstruction theory is always something to do with cotension. But the, the intuition always comes from the tangent. Um, so the dual of the obstruction theory. is uh, is you know, if I want to I was this projection, so this would be R E log star and R by minus one. So minus one is of course the tension of the X one. Okay. And so this is the right functor of the first the home of the sheet and then so this globally and you can so this is basically just goes globally writing what I wrote here the X one X two and uh, so one ten Can represent so this projection is in the right case of M. We can represent it uh, by complex vector. So that is the dual of this uh, minus one. So this is the and so then with this we do have our uh, and you know you can by by Riemann Roch you can compute what uh, the holomorphic Euler characteristic so what the alternating sum of the x i is and this will give you the um, so the x zero the trace free hom from e to e is zero and then you have x one x two and so this is just the <clears throat> virtual dimension is just minus p of chi of e e zero, and that uh, is given by the formula. Right. Okay. So, okay, and I, I mean, we also recall that we had a virtual tangent bundle. Also, yeah, yeah, you know, minus zero minus one. Structures. 
have just elements and floating between sheets on Now, uh, I want to, um, so the, as I said, the, the conjecture was that the evaporating formula holds for, so, uh, so let me just see, so the conjecture was that the evaporating formula, which I wrote the other time, holds virtual or number. Which is integral over the electric class of the electric class of the virtual engine. Okay, now I wanted to neatly formulate. Feynman. So, as I <coughs> mentioned, the simplest topological invariant uh, algebraic variety is the uh, Euler number, but it also courses, so it gives you not all that much information. So, one refinement that one can give us is obviously could be the Betty numbers, but this doesn't work so well here. Uh, the, but another refinement one can give is the I write so I want to talk about yeah so briefly let me expect no what the have I this is but I can call it um so the uh, X the projected graph is Right. We have the Hodge numbers. H Hodge numbers. H EQ of X, which is equal to the dimension. Homology of X as coefficients in the P form. And uh, <coughs> so it is so by Hodge theory, you know some things about this. First, uh, we know that they're symmetric. Then one knows that the, this actually is a position of the homology. So we have the big the number of X, which is the dimension of the eye homology. Um, this is equal to sum over all P such as P plus two. It does not follow that the Euler number of X minus one to the P of the alternating sum of the metric. Standard. Um, and now we have I genus. Certain partial for the existing sum. So we take the sum over all q minus one to the p plus q uh, y to the p uh, h. HPQ is this homology, 
So, uh, and take as alternating sum over all of them, so not to say the sum over all uh, p minus y to the p. Uh, the holomorphic polar characteristic of the You can see, therefore, that this is actually given by intersection numbers. You can, by Riemann Roth, you can compute, compute it in terms of intersection numbers. Okay, so this is all standard. <coughs> um, and so it is certain, instead of just one number, you know, as many numbers as you dimension of x. And incidentally, I think so, one can show that this uh, Hawaii genus has certain One's motivic property so that uh, you can compute it by cutting your rights into pieces and reassembling that. Um, I should uh, control it decay. And in fact, it is the finest invariant which both is in that sense motivic and is equal to what is invariant is expressible in terms of turn number. And so this is the one you want to deal with. And uh, by what I said, obviously, we have to take chi minus one, put y equal to one in this, chi minus minus one of x is by this formula equal to the one. So now we look at the virtual divisions. Well, this can be just like the same thing. So we have the virtual uh, e forms. So first is virtual uh, H G. So this is just one fewer of the virtual. This is the general structure theory. And we can look at the P forms. This is the number P. Yeah. Yes, so obviously think. What the only reasonable way is what one could mean by that for such a difference. And uh, one comes to the conclusion that this is substituted as the sum of all i plus g minus one to the j lambda i tensor. The alternating power of something negative, the symmetric power at the, at the sun. So, if you wish, this would be a definition of what is my name. But anyway, you know, if you try to think how intersection numbers should go, whatever, it's the only definition which you need to be able to unless I make a mistake. Okay. And now again, one can show, and so now the the Hawaiian is put i minus y m. Just now the same thing. Uh, I have forgotten what we right. See, we had this virtual structure sheet, and we had said for right here we put the, this to be the sum over. So p minus y should be the virtual this which forms where uh, the statement was that the virtual of more order characteristic as I had defined other time of some 
vector bundle on M is just confined. So I have not made it. <clears throat> okay, so this is the, the state. And now, <clears throat> again, we can show that, uh, that this formula actually holds. So we can show it's not very difficult. Well, that uh, if I take, if I specialize yt1, that is t time minus 1 of n. I want to call it working. Um, this is equal to the virtual one. So, um, maybe I can say this is a, <clears throat> you know, the whole point of this virtual stuff is that one wants to be able to work as if everything was smooth. So, I mean, in particular, that. Uh, one wants that the formulas that one has are the same that one has for the interject varieties, where you know in some appropriate cases one has to put here and the same formula. And so this particular formula for this is follows from the virtual Renault formula. formula. Same as the standard case for the Manoff formula, so the virtual holotropic holotropic of some such space. And um, we'll see the vector bundle is equal by the Manoff formula to the integral over the virtual fundamental class of the turn character of V times the plus of T. And the, you know, the standard one of formula is the same without the bills. If you want to, want to know what the most color characteristic of the vector bundle on the correct variety is, it's given by uh, the integral over the fundamental class of the structures. Now, I expect you know what these things are, but as it is so. So, in the vector bundle, we have a turn cartridge of E. Other time, they can formally write them as a so write formally. Let me just write this as product times i equals one to r one plus i the x i was called term. The idea is just that we have these classes which. Sometimes it might be common just somewhere, but maybe not necessarily on our variety, such that the, the churn classes are the elementary symmetric functions for the XI. And so basically the idea is whenever we write an expression in the XI which is symmetric in the XI, we can express it as a churn class. And so, and then in terms of this, we can write the churn character of E compared as just the sum i plus one the R, the, the XI, and the top genus of the product I plus one to R, X to the R, divided by one minus E of minus E. If you multiply this out, you get some symmetric expression of the XI, and so we can express in terms of churn classes, and therefore we can make sense of it. 
Okay, and obviously if in the virtual setting, uh, this uh, might have element the decay group, so different of two vector bundles, so obviously the term character of the difference of two vector bundles is the term character of E minus the term character of F, and the term character of the difference is a top genus of the difference of two vector bundles. Written as a product, therefore the portion dot genes of E divided by two dot genes of F. And this makes sense because you know, if you look at this power series, it starts with one of F. Otherwise, you cannot be right to write homology matrix for that. Here, this can invert. Uh, right is, and in this sense, in this uh, uh, formulation, we can formulate our uh, the roughly defined version of the vector function in case of these. So, again, this surface. Zero. Um, and again, for this, we assume that the zero description is non divisor. So then we have the formula for in terms of modular forms before. Now we have an extra variable, so we somehow have to. Upgrade our modular forms to something which has more variables. In this case, we simplicate the Jacobi forms to some better function. So we write them, let's say, the new standard better function theta of xy, which is a sum over all the integers at x. So the n squared is y to the n. And then this is the only such, uh, and then we have uh, take again this modified theta function. And then the function is e of s is uh, y. Two times product n bigger than zero, one minus x to the two n, one minus x to the two y, one times x to the two n divided by y. So this is also certain. Take this to the power of one more polar characteristic. And you multiply this by k two times eta bar of x to the four squared divided by this eta function where we divide this y by y to the one half. And we take this to the power of s squared. Okay, you write down this basic thing. I mean, everybody can write down some complicated power series and maybe go down on which. Complicated, I'm not sure how you would, but uh, then the thing is that this is the generated function of the right here. So then I write you of the product states. X to the virtual dimension of this model I space uh, of this power series C X of X of Okay. So we 
So, okay, so this stands at the same time for obviously the virtual one. That says all these very modular spaces are all possible to one system in that format, which is one cross expression. Okay, so this is uh, the refined version of the time in the past. It's very late. So now <clears throat> I will later talk about uh, how we uh, how one wants to try to check such a conjecture, but for the moment I want to wanted to introduce uh, also uh, the Walker written modular space and the actual Walker written invariant. The, the point is that these uh, all the numbers of the modular space are only part of the numbers that are included by Walker and written, and we want to know what the meaning of the other numbers are. And uh, so the thing which describes all these numbers uh, is this Walker written modular space, and I should I want to introduce. So <clears throat> so as I said, the uh, we'll buffer written formula contains all A number of arrangements for uh, the modular space of sheets. What are the extra terms? And so this was only recently. <coughs> Danaka and Thomas uh, gave a definition of the uh, buffer written invariants, which uh, are supposed to be the ones that are like this. And this is in terms of this buffer written modular space, which is a modular space of X X. Okay. Um, What is on on our surface S? Expression before S is the surface space. Bigger than zero, Q equal to zero, then they find a constitution. Portion of the sheet S. And then uh, is an endomorphism of E with values in the minimum parameters. So that means P is a map, is the homomorphism of 
E, E, center, line bounder, and I assume that the case of this homomorphism is zero. So, we want to consider modular spaces for this. So, we have to say what it needs to be stable or semi stable. And then the stability condition is the same as for the sheet E, but we have to restrict. So, this is something about subsheets, but we have to restrict the subsheets which are invariant under P. So, that's the so if, I, um, if I take the whole morphic order characteristic of F and so out the line bundle divided uh, so this divided by the rank of F smaller than same thing. So for enough. Now normally so if it was just stability of E, this would be for all subsheets. Now instead we take all subsheets which are invariant under the HP. So that obviously just that just means that if I take P of F, this actually is contained in uh, F. Okay. And then one can show there exists a modular space of such things. A semi stable also means that you have to be equal for semi classes in one. One should know. If uh, you know, this P, you know, so any homomorphism, so one possibility is this, that this homomorphism is the zero homomorphism. If this homomorphism is zero, uh, then the condition that P of F is contained, contained in F tends of KS is the empty condition. So it means here all subsheets are allowed. That means if P is equal to zero, then, the, uh, then this pair E P is stable if and only if P is a sheet. Square 
So, so we have a modelized space which does contain the, the modelized X pairs. <clears throat> so uh, there's one thing which will bother us. Uh, it is obvious if one thinks of this a moment that you know before we were very much insisting that our modelized space should be compact. No, because you want to integrate something over it. And there, you know, you have the, the virtual fundamental class you only have if, if it's compact and so on. And so uh, now these one last spaces are never compact. So I hope so. So if I take a non-zero T is an element in C star, then if T phi is a point in the modelized space, uh, and then also if I take E and satisfy so whenever so therefore you can see you have kind of the something defined. Uh, so you have all these, uh, when you have a sum point, it contains the whole line, and so it cannot be compact. And so we still want, we'll eventually want to have some kind of virtual fundamental class and for those reasons it's more complicated. And so for that, we need an obstruction theory. So I can say some words about that. So Tanaka Thomas defines what is called the self dual obstruction theory. This model so assume so uh, maybe this is not necessary by model space that is not necessarily universal chi, but for, let's for simplicity assume there is universal chi. So if e phi big phi uh, <coughs> is a uh, universal X pair on the modular space or on S times N, then I can first globally say what the dual of the obstruction theory is. As I said, the dual is what, what the obstruction theory corresponds to what happens on the tangent level, which is the only one you know, to really understand. Whereas Technically, to be able to work with it, you have to work with construction theory because all tangent things are easier to work with than tangent, even though the intuition is always to work with tangent. So, so this is the dual of the construction theory. So I can write down this thing. This is just the, the R home. So this looks very similar. So it's the R home P. But maybe I write here. I write the same notation as before. After the word R home place P. And action. So it's the method. So we go here. So very much the same thing. S pull back of the S. Right again for this notation, which is also um the short form for this, but I'm sure. 
<coughs> okay, where the map here is uh, just the map which on the second factor uh, applies to feet. So to speak. Here is the identity, so to speak, on the E, and here this is P, and then whatever that induces on in this derived set. Okay, so uh, explicitly, uh, this means the following to an explicit fiberwise. Uh, we have to overlook that the Reverse this, we have uh, that uh, on the tangent, so the tangent, so if E and um, then uh, we have here, so on the, on the tangent side, we get something like X1. So the mapping code is to take uh, the sum of the, you know, the sum of these two things shifted and all the maps between them. So here we have the, the, the h1 of the first, the h0 of the second, and the, the, the map goes to x. First, first promotion. So the obstruction is so fiberwise. The obstruction here is given by by this the map like this. Someone should notice that x two e e zero is dual. So. So this is basically the, what one has is tangent, and this is the obstruction. So now the here one has the if one looks at it by serverality, this is the same as form e e tangent s dual of that, and by serverality, this is the same. Um, X one. So you therefore see that the tangent is dual to those stuff. What? The chair ah, sorry. I don't know what to do about it. Right, okay. Is that better? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's the, the tangent is dual to the obstruction. Yeah, just change their role. So, and that's what it means to set rule of structure. And uh, so, that you know, obviously, again, we can. Represent this by the uh, complex of two vector bundles, which one needs for this. And so the fact that tangent is two construction means it follows that uh, so the virtual dimension of n, which is the, in this case the rank. Zero. So we have a, an obstruction field of dimension zero. And so therefore you should expect that that's fine. Okay, hit me in brains. Evaluate from the 
search a fundamental class. Then, Now there is some. So, so this should give us a hint. This could work. If n was complex. Um, but n is not, but it's not. Anyway, you, know, you cannot compute the section numbers on something which is not complex. And so that seems uh, okay. So we have decided to put things nonsense and forget about the written rate, but now one instead use the trick. Now, unfortunately, my time is essentially up, so I can just hint at it. Um, So, so the, uh, the solution that actually, I should say there are, there are actually two solutions to this. Uh, and there's actually the solution which seems to be the nicer one, which has the disadvantage that it's wrong. And uh, then there's the solution that we will use, and I mean, or rather that Anna uh, and Thomas use. So, one of the things is if you have these self rule obstruction theories, there's a way how you can come, how you can kind of forget to do things in a different way in terms of the so called Deren function. So you kind of compute some kind of Euler number of the space where you weight the pieces according to some constructive function which you construct out of the obstruction theory. Um, and that, you know, there's no requirement of compactness there or whatever. You can always do that. And so you could just integrate over. Over n, this parent function, and you would get some number. And you can do that, and you get some nice numbers, that, which you know are, uh, you know, a little bit too simple, and but they have nothing to do with the predictions by the physicists. They are supposed to be the wrong numbers. Now, instead, one can do something crazy. So, <clears throat> instead, we apply localization. So, <clears throat> and so. So n s and the and the fixed locus of this contact contact. Uh, localization form. Yeah, but localization, but anyway, the localization form. So, what is this is the following? So, if we have something which is compact and it has a C star action. Then there is a formula by which one can uh, express intersection numbers on the big space in terms of intersection numbers of something else on the fixed locus. Now, this thing is not compact, but the fixed locus is compact. We just use the same formula as if our n was compact and declare this to be the integral over n. So we just formally apply this localization formula and say that's the answer. Now, usually, if you have a theorem which is true under some assumptions, and then you decide to apply it when these assumptions don't hold, you will only get one. But here, uh, uh, for some reason, it's okay. Now, I don't know the, the, how do we do with time, because I just used my time. Now I would have to explain about this localization problem. So it would be not a good moment to start that. You can do next time or he one can also uh, just as a question. So now I now have prepared to to first uh, uh, 
review the localization formula and then do the virtual localization and then use this as a definition. So it's kind of a very, it has, I mean, it goes all very slow. Is that fine or do you want a little bit less detail? Now, anyway, I mean, for, for now, I maybe go as I did, but anyway, my, 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 my time is up. The next time. Yeah. Okay. Are there any questions? Uh, I have a question. I'm not sure if this works in the hybrid format or not. Uh, ah, oh. So you can't... <laughs> okay, so brief question. Maybe it's not so important, but um, do you allow for strict semi-stability in this whole discussion? So that you allow your modular space to contain strictly semi-stable sheaves and in this case uh, Higgs pairs or what what yeah. just so I, I have not I have kind of other piece but it has been done uh, also when they are strictly semi-stable sheaves there you have to use a little bit, a bit more careful with the definition it's done in terms of something which is called choice song pairs you can uh, Define everything and compute everything, and all the formulas work the same way as if they were only stable ones. Okay. All right. So basically, it's you do so in, yeah, you, it's okay in your discussion. You you don't make any restrictions. To just yeah, I mean, no. When, okay. Whenever I explain something, I will you know for simplicity always assume stable is equal to semi-stable or whatever. But uh, in fact, there are no restrictions. Okay. Okay, thanks. just take this thing tens of ks okay so in order to have so another thing would be if you take this thing tensor all alternating or tensor omega s or all alternating powers and then you get some kind of uh, thing so then i think the the potential bundle uh, oh, oh. will lie there but but like this it, it doesn't uh, yeah. you know, it, Okay. Uh -huh. 